Zenny, all right. Zenny, welcome back. I've had Ryan's last bear for like two and a half years. You'll notice that we're not playing on Friday. That's because Zenny, our time uh, will change at least for now. You can even use uh, Saturdays. Saturdays. No, so to our, all of our loyal viewers, I'm sorry, we're yes. a day later. Welcome to Saturday. Maybe a person. Yeah. <laughs> last session. <laughs> were we here last session? No, we missed one session. Right. I don't think we had a session last session. Oh, last session was when, uh, after a Who's series like of, of heroin. Oh, yeah! That was good. In that was good. Uh, Toretto the Silver Dragon. Toretto! Toretto! Uh, no. I watched, I watched three Fast and Furious movies today. Uh, <laughs> just in prep for this? <laughs> yeah, just because I wanted to watch them. He just quoted he all the time. He the first he received a letter from his family stating more or less that his father was ill. Spaja. Now. Uh, uh, that being the case... He went to all of you individually, I do believe, uh, and requested your assistance, which everyone agreed to. To go, you know, it wasn't it wasn't just any old kind of illness, right? So, uh, it was a strange one the, the that space the lyrics yeah, the space could aids. not space heal. Now we transition into Starfinder. You gotta go to space and find the source. After. That you teleported into Adosia, which is the town, or I guess the port city where Kenny's <coughs> family lives, and that's where we ended. Was with the arrival over there. Um, there was a little bit of discussion there, but I have a lot more detailed information about the city to relay to you as you walk through it on the way to Kane's family estate. Oh shit, that's where we're going. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Right, we because that? well, we notice he said his name, and we notice everything here has his name on it, like the blacksmith shop, the bakery, the yeah. court, the whole place has his name like, on it. The whorehouse. Yeah, you see a whole lot. Of stuff. <laughs> I mean, like it, it's it's kind of hard to miss. Yeah. Okay. The way it was described, it's like little... you don't see the name, you see the family crest. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or exactly. both. Yeah, I have a little. Kings, bit, uh, hookers, and waffles. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> I'm a genius. <laughs> has everything ex has especially coffee. <laughs> but more hookers. <laughs> okay. Here we go. And what? The city of Adosia is a port city with approximately 15,000 people, largely controlled by the Karaki family. The guild has allowed it to continue because they treat their employees fairly and pay their taxes on time. Hmm. Oh, nice. Business is good, as they say. The people do not seem to be oppressed. Everyone who created seems to be cheerful and happy. And you can clearly see a handful of locations whereby new construction has happened. More people are moving into the city, and each growth is largely because of the Karaki family. Can I just move here? Like, retire from the road? <coughs> In theory. <laughs> live, live the good life of <laughs> getting paid? And, and find gold in the streets. You probably have enough. <laughs> I could probably have, job. have enough that you could live comfortably for a long time. Yeah. <coughs> um, Plus I'm like, I'm a world renowned chef. Who wouldn't want me? Yeah. You could retire anywhere at any time. Yeah, uh, but then like, you wouldn't be able to rage. A tourist rage. attraction. <laughs> I could still rage. As you <laughs> like make your way, maybe now, <laughs> Gordon Ramsay definitely rages. Yeah. Um, Kane is, of course, leading you because he knows his way around. Walking um, with purpose. And as you make your way to the Karaki estate, and it is indeed an estate, complete with outer wall, large metal gate, and several guard stations along the wall, you see a gigantic building, sort of like in, in the city, not in the estate uh, itself, but like on your way to the estate. You see a gigantic building, 400 feet tall in the center of the city, emblazoned with, Kar with the Karaki family crest, underneath of which is the text saying, Koraki Corporation. Huge glass windows cover much of the outside of the building. Hmm. As you make your way to 
uh, I'm gonna go with the, the estate itself, once you arrive, is enormous. With a dedicated military wing with training areas, barracks for the guard, etc. 14 bedrooms, a 1,500 square foot kitchen, seven washrooms, four walk in closets, and of course, a gigantic magically clean pool. The guard at the front gate uh, immediately recognizes Kim. And will escort you in to see the sort of lead guy, uh, the sort of head butler, if you will. I chuckle at the word but. <laughs> That's the half a word. <laughs> uh, and his name like is Alfred. Alfred. <laughs> uh, he's, a, he's a pro. His, his name's Alfred Drockaworth. Ooh. <laughs> I feel like there's uh, something else here. Because that's a funny reference. <coughs> yes, <in> the reference. <laughs> Alfred? Alfred Pennyworth. Oh, it's like a Drak. From, from Batman. Batman. Yeah. Batman. And it's Draco. I thought it was the Draka part. I was... Draka, the money. Draka I didn't know it was like this. It's the money. Going to the realm. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I spelled it wrong. <laughs> Draka, yeah. Uh, he greets you all with a genuine smile. He escorts you to different rooms, like sort of guest rooms in this house. Uh, you notice that the house is immaculately clean because they have a fairly substantial wait staff. That can that up. keeps the place tidy. <laughs> Made up of brownies. <laughs> <laughs> I stole like the <laughs> uh, Brownies are the, uh, well, the the postal service. I thought that was the the, the little, UPS. Like the little clean, uh, cleaning people that you couldn't talk about, or they go away. No. No. Oh, well, that's mind. that's something else. I think. Yeah. I'm not sure what you're talking about. <laughs> no. Um, the waste up is That's why my house is a clean now, I'll take that right. <laughs> um, largely human, but there are some elves, um, a couple of half elves, and uh, one particularly surly sort of uh, half orc who is their chef. Uh, That's a mistake. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's a mistake. <laughs> Are you going to challenge him to a duel? Yeah, of course I am. You want him out? You're going to hear him walk past something he's cooking and be like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> he sort of, it's um, garbage. Alfred, Alfred sort of escorts you all here at your rooms and says uh, uh, that you may get ready. You can sort of rest. Um, that there will be a, um, a sort of family lunch type of dinner. Well, we'll say dinner for, for purposes of this. There will be a family dinner held in the Crocky Corporation building um, later on today, but you're welcome to rest. Um, you can check out the, uh, you kind of explore the estate, which we can talk about. We'll kind of go person to person once we do Kane's a bit. Um, because Kane, of course, who patiently uh, waits, like, I actually have a question for Kane. Kane, do you like wait and like, go with them until they are escorted to their to their guest rooms, or do you go straight to the? Um, I'm beelining for okay my father's chambers. Gotcha. Um, right before you get, what is your passive perception? Mine. Yeah. Uh, uh twenty one is what's written here. Is that correct? That's. Are you expertise? Oh, because because it look uh alert. Um, no, it's, like that. it's not alert, it's, um, oh. Observant? Yeah, observant. That's, uh, yeah. Yeah, plus one to... Does that too passive. Uh, oh, wait, no, yeah, so that shouldn't be uh -huh. correct anymore. Yeah, it's plus, one, plus five to passive perception, which I have a nine in... I, I got an expertise. So you have plus then. nine. So I've so got... higher than that, then? Yeah, so that's, a. Uh, Nine, four? Nine plus five, yeah, plus the ten, so yeah. <laughs> 24 <laughs> passive? Nothing gets fired. I'm okay. 
I'm don't pretty, I'm pretty much like my eyes are like always like mm-hmm. darting you to guys, Like you blinked okay. once four weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You you all recognize so, yeah, dude, or, or I blink one at, seen, at a time. Yeah. He's about well, to turn the corner from a perspective. Like, and Kane uh, 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 like goes alert mode for just a second and draws out his dagger and sidesteps and parries a blow from an old man who seemed to have stepped out from his shadow. Uh, <coughs> and, and he was, he, you know, he, the old man who d- was not able to successfully uh, stab King uh, sort of laughs heartily at, at the parry and says, uh, Young pup, you have been training. <laughs> <laughs> so, never can never can stop, can we, Uncle Mateo? No. Come with me. Right away, sir. Yes. That's crazy. I had a, uh, I had it to where you could make like a perception check. Mm-hmm. But the DC I set to it was <coughs> only 24, so it's just like, you just see. You, you do it. Yeah, you, you, you just, just see. You, just, you, do, you do the do. Yeah. That is absurd. Um, <clears throat> you are escorted to the master bedroom. Which is, of course, your parents' bedroom. Oh. Mm-hmm. Um, mm. What's allowed here as a kid? Let's make it awkward. There, there is a, <laughs> it's what we do. There's, of course, a big four poster bed. Uh, very fancily carved. It has the sort of Karate family crest engraved on the, the headboard. Uh, it's made of rich mahogany. Ooh. If you will. Nice uh, wood. Very, very, like, I. The bed is worth like a thousand gold pieces uh, by itself. Let's like, still the bed. Just still the bed. <laughs> just just for good <laughs> scope. Just for some scope of, of the value of, of everything in here. Uh, you enter and you can see Cassandra sitting in a plush chair next to the bed. Uh, your father, Iman. Looking a shadow of his former self, covered in blankets, yet shivering. His countenance improves slightly when he sees you. Uh, Cassandra rushes to, to hug you. Says, oh, okay. I'm so glad you came. How old is Cassandra? Actually, uh, 40s? Yep. She probably doesn't call me that. Who is Cassandra? Uh, Hector. Right. She Hector. Oh, this is all Hector. Is this your Hector. mom? You're right. Yeah. This right. is mom. So how Hector. is your dad? How old is the man in the bed? Uh, the man in the bed is probably... Uh, Corey, remind me how old Kane is. Uh, Kane's like mid-twenties. Okay, so... So he's probably like... Um, his father is probably 50-ish. Okay, so there's only... Yeah, um... Kane's yeah, not... Third, wait, is that yeah, he's, he's the third okay. oldest. Oh, right. <laughs> so Maybe he's more like sixty. Yeah, he's probably, he's probably pushing sixty. Yeah, he's he's in his late fifties. Okay. That. Yeah. Um, he looks you know, like when you see him, he looks like he's in his eighties. Oh wow! And his mom probably looks normal. Looks kind of to him. Yeah. Kind of like Theoden before. Uh, yes. Dang. Yes. Like pre Gandalf the White Theoden. Theoden. Yeah. Theoden. Yeah. <laughs> Has it been good, Hector? When when did this begin? Uh, two months ago, maybe. If I recall correctly on the timeline. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and. Do the clerics have any any clues to uh, why they ca- uh, cannot revive him? 
no, we've, we've brought, uh, we've brought in several clerics of, of different deities and nothing has been working. Um, we currently have a most curious one who traveled in uh, from a fair distance away. Corpus. Corpus. His name is something. His name is a weird name. Not pronounced this way. It's pronounced something. He is called himself. So my teammate. Talk. So my teammate. So a little little third person. Hmm. Uh. But but he's he's very knowledgeable. Uh, and his medicinal. Arts. You can have one. Uh, oh, okay, I'll take this one. <laughs> <laughs> she tells you that Leto is out at the moment dealing with some business. That My sister. Your older sister? Yes, your older sister. Pretty sure. Yeah, two of them. And that Orion is currently training the guard, so they should be back. For their dinner. Althea is currally out with a suitor. Cassandra views with some trepidation. Um, Cassandra's talking here to you? Yes. Okay. I'm just giving them the sort of cliff notes. <coughs> are we in our rooms right yeah, now? Are we we now? Yeah, we're, we're in the rooms. He went you are the in the guest rooms. You are not. So we don't hear the conversation. So I don't know his name's Hector. Huh? I don't know that his name's actually yeah. Hector. Creeping in. You don't. Yeah, You've heard him nothing about call things. himself Hector before. Uh, if you recall, but you haven't, no. Okay. So I thought I thought I was real clever uh, going by an alias. That was yeah. my actual na- uh, name. While under, a, <laughs> while, no under while under a, a different pseudonym. Okay. So that's what everyone did know me by. Which Cassandra? I thought it was some like, trepidation. Uh, pretty, I thought it was pretty funny. Knowing yeah. that Althea does not have the mentality for commitment. Uh, so like your mom totally knows that Althea just strings all these guys along. Oh yeah. Yeah. Smart woman. Sorry. <laughs> Someone needed to say it. <laughs> my my baby sister. The ladies and gentlemen. She's the best uh, in Kazakhstan. Now <laughs> that <Yeah>. one. <laughs> yeah. uh, and you so the big sort of sky skyscraper kind of building in the middle of the city. You were still around when it was started. Mm-hmm. Like they had some of the foundation in, and they maybe had a couple of floors in, but they have. It's almost done. Yeah, because I've been um, away for uh, several years, probably yeah. at this point. Uh, the Karaki family still does have their weekly sit down. Uh, usually dinner. Every Vidas rule, which is one of the days of the week. Um, they have started meeting at the Karaki Corporation building for this. Weird. So, uh, can you last name is Karaki? Yeah. Yeah. K O R K. Wait. K O R A K I. I was like, wait, there's a le- letter missing in there somewhere. <laughs> I can't spell my own name, Who's guys. Karaki? Who is that? That's it's in an anime. I don't know. I was thinking more like Crikey. Okay. <laughs> Steve Irwin. <laughs> I, saw it in, I saw it in like a list of like there's a sort of gigantic uh, okay. conference room almost it's borderline penthouse suite on the 30th floor of this uh, this new skyscraper and so they have begun moving the meeting there because they also have been kind of bringing in some of the business people as well, uh, just so that they can hammer out details and get that done. Where is that? It's right here, honey. Um, Can I, can you move it to me or I it guess off? I'll yeah. move it over here. Leave those in there, okay? What? Take those in there, okay? Lunch, however, and this is kind of the thing, so um, Dad, you, will, the you will have, it's, a, no, it's, it's almost okay. lunchtime at this point. All kind of settled into the guest rooms. Well, it's a singer, so it's Maybe 
Uh, well, okay, let's kind of deviate from that. Is there anything that you guys want to do from the guest rooms? Hey, come here. Uh, I want to polish up. Okay. Oh, look nice. It's it's shiny. <laughs> Polish Especially the forehead. Polish is metal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, some of the uh, workers there could probably help you with that. Too. Oh, 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 oh! Just walk in, just my arms out, and then I just grow nine feet. <laughs> <laughs> you may touch me. You'd probably be easier to clean in your normal size. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> they have to get like ladders and stuff. Like one They're of them like, walks uh, in on like twelve inches. I'm like one second. They're like I walk into the bathroom and come back out nine feet. <laughs> oh, Mr. Clank. <laughs> what? How large you've grown. <laughs> um. Can you, can you? I want to explore, but I don't want to get in trouble. You, um, Alfred said that you're free to explore. Okay, that's what I want to do. He said that if, uh, if, it's, if, it's all, if, it all, if it is at all possible, please do not uh, touch anything too much. Uh, you know, basically like don't steal. Okay. That was exactly what I was going to do. <laughs> 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 I don't want to steal from his family. Yeah. Uh, I guess they have like some kind of library or something, right? Yes. But they can afford it. Pull out all the books. Am I pretty you know I'm going to take it for what I am? Um, you are in the, uh, in the sense that... Like Locomancer wise, I'm guessing. Oh, Locomancer, yes. Locomancers are exceedingly rare. Thank you, but... And then, I'm guessing this is obviously pretty wealthy. So, race is also really rare, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Artifice right. is, um, you have seen a couple in a later car, just like walking around, um, but you don't see any in, in this town. Well, so I'm guessing there's like a library of some sort. I'm just yes. questioning if there's maybe, I don't know, like say mm-hmm. something that's common between locomancers of like a certain style or, you know, more, more or less artifice, maybe a hole I don't know about. I don't know. Uh, okay, so you go to their to, to the Karaki family library. Yep. Um, I will tell you this: the vast majority of the books are about business and finance. Um, not exciting reads. Not exciting reads. For sure. Definitely not a page turner. Um, but give me a. Give me an investigation check. I can do that. Uh, four. <laughs> four. I'm actually in the bathroom. I was like, there's <laughs> nothing in here. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Good. You're, you, That's what I found. You are, are kind of scrolling around. What is around. this device? There is what is a, this machine? What is this for? There's a portion of the library that is uh, more like it's it's it, it looks different. Just like the overall book format is different. So it's not all finance or economics or how to run a business kind of things. Um, there is a bookshelf that is full of like history books, um, such as, and sort of more specifically like military history, okay. uh, which is you think what their sort of like military, their militia, if you will. Wow. Uh, what their leadership uses for study purposes and the like. Again, plus, uh, permanent not, plus one to history checks. But you're not really able to find anything of direct importance. All right. not, not with a four. Maybe you can check again later. I will remember uh, that. I yeah. so you said a fork. Um, I want to don my Sherlock Holmes hat, search around the house for mysteries. <laughs> Okay. Magnifying glass. Okay. Forward. Give me an investigation check. Uh, if you're going to use a charge, that will have advantage. Uh, I'm not going to. Actually, I, I can. Wait. Do it. Use it. Just use three it. charges, right? Yeah. Might or as day. Well. Might as well. Might as well. 
It's like how many times are you going to be searching for clues today? <laughs> yeah, you, you never know. I'll give that's up. True. Even. It's a that's 25. Cool. That's great. 25? He finds all the mysteries. Yeah. <laughs> so many wow. mysteries. You actually he find a, a mystery. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. Okay. 25? And a movie. 25. 25. Okay. Wow. Um, James so dead. You're, is dead. you're kind of wandering... I just saw the illness. Like, all right, done go. <laughs> Your house. <laughs> we wander around the house looking for uh, uh, various things. Uh, just looking for secret things. You find a secret thing. Uh, <laughs> sconce. <laughs> Her device is his mystery is only find, find a sconce that when turned sideways opens like the Ooh. secret door. Bookshelf door. That has a uh, it's a it's a it's a relatively small room. It's a dungeon. Maybe ten foot by ten foot. <laughs> And okay. it has, yeah, one of those. It just has like whips, <laughs> yeah. rows and rows of like uh, Gags. different ornate <laughs> daggers that have been collected by presumably the old assassin man mm-hmm. that you saw briefly before they sort of scurried off to go do stuff. I just popped up out of there. Um, and then, and you're like. Do you, do you do anything with that, or you just like turn it back? Nope, turn it back. Just let it close. Like, <laughs> okay. Let's give up. We'll, I will note that information <laughs> for later yeah. use. Yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then you happen to just kind of wander by the library where uh, where Clank is, sort of wandering around, just standing in a corner like this. Hmm. <laughs> That's not <a> picture. <laughs> Yeah. And just thinking to himself. He, he is, he is at, at that particular moment looking at uh, the, the sort of military history bookshelf and <coughs> kind of walk up and like the book that he was staring at you just like kind of grab it and, and tilt it because <laughs> he, he didn't notice it. Yeah. Like it was, it's clearly a, like to you it's very obviously a fake book. It actually even says this is not a book fake on the book. side of it. <laughs> <laughs> actually, and, the and, uh, yeah. it, it slides open, and there's a sort of secret. There's like more library. Ooh. That's like secret library. Um, this has. No better books. There are three books in this area. There's like a, 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 a small table. That has like an oil lamp on it. And there are three books. One of them is in. What language do you speak? It's been common in avian. Okay, it's not neither of those languages. Um, give me an intelligence check. <clears throat> Can I assist because I'm there now? Yes. Well, like you saw it. Open, yeah, I'm like, so. whoa! Language do you speak? Um, I just be a boot man in common, I guess. I, I don't have anything written. You would probably speak gnome. No? Oh, yeah, you're right. I would speak gnome. Common and at least gnome, if not something else. No. Uh, well, so, something now. So do common and gnome. The worst 3PO ever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for, for a robot, I'm not very intelligent. Uh, <laughs> so. uh, 14. And what am I adding to this? Let's, let's Intelligence was zero. Uh, plus one. So it's plus one until everything I'm not proficient in. So 18. 18? Oh, you go. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. The book, the biggest book uh, that, that is there is in a sort of ancient gnomish uh, language. And the title of the book. So your big robot has missing holes, <laughs> and how to find them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is actually a book about gnomish technology. Ooh. Um, it says it's it's basically 
Um, <clears throat> it's kind of a history book, plus it has some detailed plans in it. You don't have a lot of time to really peruse through it, necessarily. Um, you got a photocopier in that body of yours? There's a book about uh, magical structure design as far as how to magically strengthen building materials. And there is the last book is a <coughs> There's a book in Dwarf, like in Dwarven Oh wait, ruins. I have the belt Dwarven Con. So you can speak, yeah. Nice. Can speak Dwarven. Drink Pondy. <coughs> I've got it here somewhere. I don't know where it's at. I didn't have it. But I remember I had, uh... Belt of Dwarven Kind? Yeah, I remember having it. Did you give it to somebody else? Did I give it to someone else? Anyone have a Belt of Dwarven Kind? Did I give you guys that? No, oh, here it is. I got it. <coughs> yeah. You should be able to speak, read, and write. Yes, Dwarf. I can okay. speak, read, and write Dwarven Great. Just from uh, a belt? Yeah. This particular book. And it makes it really strong, too. Has a book. And it makes it really it. strong, too. Uh, and it makes it really strong. Is it like it's, has a bookmark oh, in it. Wow. It is closed, but it does have a bookmark in it. The book isn't locked or anything. Uh, we'll open it and read it at the bookmark. Okay. So, you find. And in pen. And, and if, if you're a, uh, a book guy. I like love books. It's a travesty, really. Yeah. But somebody has um, circled a passage in the book. Uh, this is a very, very old book. It is about an item called... The Mysterious Chalice of Power. Mm. Uh, Good name to know. <laughs> it is a chalice that was given, a chalice made of mithril, that was given to, the, to, to ancient, to some kind of old ancient dwarven tribe, or group, family, clan, whatever you want to call it. Um, it has text on it that reads, Truest Honor. And... Note. There's a note that he that that, that and it's clearly kind of an older person's handwriting, um, sort of like a like a like a uh, a note in the margin that says it, it sort of repeats the title. It says "Mysterious Chalice of Power," whose mystery is only surpassed by its power. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> it is a travesty. They had to take the time to circle to, 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 that. to, to like write in it. Yeah. It's such an old book. Um, it's it says there's a mis there's a mysterious chalice located in the vault deep within Tamoni, which is uh, uh, a long abandoned dwarven stronghold, likely full of other less friendly creatures. Uh, this chalice is rumored to cure any ailment once any fluid is drunk from it. Mm. Uh, Even piss. <laughs> there is, That's it. There is. Uh, yes. <laughs> there's sort of a question. There's a two word sentence after that says, Even Iman? Question mark. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, let's yeah. uh, make things a lot easier. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, but <laughs> you figured it out. It's unclear, really, as to uh, like you know, you you've heard of the place. It's north 
east ish of where you are. It's actually northeast of Ignoyak, where you were, that, that a desert city. Yeah. Uh, in this sort of mountain range zone. What was the name of that town again? Timoni. Timoni. T A M O N I. Uh, heard Iman for some reason. It is. Uh, Iman is, like is the, King's okay. Dad. Yeah. There's a city in. Uh, it's like you can even heal him. Yes, there is. <laughs> That's why it was. That's okay. Okay. Yeah. It is. Yeah. It's definitely noted by. You can tell that it's an older person's. Handwriting. Probably the old man that you saw earlier. Excellent. Uh, he was doing some research. <clears throat> Would you like to be? Uh, Would you like to do anything in the house here? Yeah. Just lay on the plush bed. Take a nap. Take a nap. Yep. Does I hear work? yes. Anybody else taking a nap? You're I, too fidgety. I, I would say I'm uncomfortable. I, I'm like, don't. He said, "Don't touch anything." So I'm like, yeah. <laughs> stand it like this. Like I don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah. Bull in a china shop. Yeah, it's. I just want to look at their stuff. Okay, like, you can totally do just that. Just look around just at the pretty yeah, stuff. Like, yeah. Like, damn, just I like, want all this. Just like <laughs> the shiniest of shiny. Yeah. No, just I admire. Take it. I want to take it, but I won't take it. You find in some of the walk-in closets, you find a series of uh, very fancy dresses. Oh! Uh, you find uh, <laughs> of course I do. what is what is very clearly like they they don't seem to possess casual clothing. Uh, it's it's fancy or fancier. It's just yeah, yeah. It's like fancy or fancier. Like to you, because because you you have have you haven't known Kane a long time per se, but this lifestyle does not in any way seem to match up with what you understand about right. Like not at it's all. It's like uh, it's, like, <laughs> it's not weird. what I expected. It's crazy. Um, <clears throat> There are, uh, like you notice, just as you're walking down the hallway, there were like uh, lanterns and uh, candelabras and stuff like that. Stuff that is worth lots of money. Lots of money. Just everywhere. You see a gem encrusted mirror. One gem on it, like several hundred gold, like, and it's covered in them. Just like a, just like a, a little hand mirror. Yeah. Probably worth ten thousand white rock. I'm using a lot of um. Like control. Self control. <laughs> yeah. Self restraint. Yeah. This is. I want everyone just to understand a that. <laughs> uh, of, of, of wealth, and it's so. Like decadent, it's so decadently <laughs> present uh, that it's it's just it's crazy. It's you've, sickening. You've never seen this kind of opulence before. Um, yes. Want to play the next one? I don't think it'll make any difference. I don't think it'll. Okay, fair enough. <clears throat> That's all good. A pup named Scooby Doo wanted cheddar or not? <laughs> Pretty dark. It's pushing it, Scooby. It's pushing yeah. it. <laughs> the lunch that you are all invited to, even Clank, even though Clank doesn't really eat. I'm going to act like I do. I'm sorry, just roll my stomach. Can't wait the spoon, <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah. You're like a monocle? Yeah. yeah. I feel like when I eat, I just open my mouth and just throw it in. I even eat the cup. When I'm just like, this yeah. is great. <laughs> this is great food. I am human. Yeah. That, was given, that was given to us by the emperor. <laughs> Maybe my fine china. Crunch. So you have lunch at the, at the estate um, in, in their dining hall. How is it? Uh, it is very good. Uh, even by your standards. That's what I was going to ask. So. Based, <laughs> we think it's like, Based on the cooking that you have, That's you can bad. tell that their chef is an arcane chef. Okay. Mm. Good. Ooh. Uh, an experienced one. 
Shut this bro up. He's, he's, yeah. We'll talk at him in a bit. He's good. You can. You sure can. Mm-hmm. I feel like you should judge him like you would on a like a cooking show. Like this is I feel like this is really delicious, but I feel like the portion was a little bit. Yeah. 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 The plate should have been way better. Yeah, you could have, okay. uh, you could have added for some purposes <laughs> of brevity, and so I don't spend the next twenty minutes talking to myself. I'm going to. We all want that, uh, Gerald. I know. I know you do. Um, I'm going to give you some brief. I want like a child talking to an adult. That's what I want. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> listen, listen. Uh, Orion is Cain's older brother. He is the leader of the uh, sort of militia, he trains the militia. He's the lead military guy. Uh, he's probably like in his early to mid thirties. He is pompous. However, you can tell that he is a very skilled fighter, just by the way that he moves. Uh, Leto, his older sister, is very much like uh, Vexalia from her role, if you will, in her love for all things money. Um, She is, um, she's very nice when you're talking about economics and like, running businesses and uh, all that really kind of boring stuff to most people. Um, she doesn't talk much to, like, she doesn't talk much about anything else. Um, she does mention, though, that the crappie building is almost done in, in terms of its construction. The top Five, top five levels or so are still in the process of being of, of being finished. They're, they're still under construction. So is Kane's sister hot? We'll get to that. I gotta move. On, I've gotta move on from Crowley's sister at some point. So, so let's let's. She's see, disappeared. Uh, She's disappeared. I know. Isn't. I think it says something about money. She's probably not she's classically really beautiful, but she's I got plenty of yeah, money. good looking. Let me, let me let me this way. Leto is is an attractive woman. Leto? Yeah, L E T O. Jared. Yeah, Jared. That last, but, like his last name. She's a little but, crazy. You don't want to talk to her. <laughs> but, yeah, she's she's kind of annoyed by this most of the time, and you can tell. But her beauty is far outshined, if you will. By Althea, Ooh. Kane's younger sister. Okay. Um, yeah, she's like, yeah, she's like, she's she's a ten. Is yeah. she she gets text messages. Uh, she's flighty. She, she gets birds. She's, I'm a bird. She's not. <laughs> she doesn't seem to be. Um, let me put it to you this way. Uh, You're not rich. She is. She's so beautiful. She's a little difficult to look at. I'm a world renowned oh. chef. Like, I'm famous. If you didn't know any better, you would think that she might have a little bit of like fey blood. Uh, Does she have any bird in her? Don't say it. <laughs> oh my god. Don't say it. Don't don't even answer. Just I know where this is going. I know where it's going. Yeah. Let him do it. Let her get it out of his She has that I'll never quality. Stop. No, she doesn't. She has that quality, (laughs) and I'm sure that all of you have seen this or have maybe even experienced it. Uh, She has that quality of like a popular high school girl who who always gets people to do stuff for her. Oh God! But like leading on with false (laughs) prospects, leaving behind scores of sexually frustrated men. Mm. Um, So she's not a slut. No. She has no real no, she fear. She strings them along. Yeah, she's yeah. just a monster. Because she is of the Karaki <laughs> family name. Which is worse. Uh, she yeah. she yeah. doesn't ever really worry she about like, assault <laughs> or anything like that. So because, well, <laughs> you don't mess with the people who own the, the town. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> bad. There have, bad. There have been occasions where she's got some men uh, flustered enough to try, to try something. And it, it kind of disappeared. Well, was, so on more than one occasion, so letting you in on, so myself and my older brother have taken offense. 
Mm-hmm. And they just show up out of nowhere. And as and as he said, they uh, they get scared. They they don't don't exactly. They go. I do want to ask sure. uh, one of the relatives, uh, what's King's real name? <laughs> they tell you it's Hector. 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 Oh, 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 during during the meal, you should have just been you honest. You can tell that only Uncle Mateo uh, refers to him as Cain regularly. Um, That's the one his, his that struck mother, him around the corner. Uh, Sorry. His, yeah. Yes, yes, or tried to. His his we brother. Tried to try to. Uh, his his the rest of his family calls him Hector. Hector. <coughs> Excellent. Did they say like Hector? <laughs> Hector. Uh, no. Don't say Hector. Not, not Hector. Hey, Hector. Hey, Hector. 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 Hector the Erector. You have a very nice meal. And uh, afterwards, you have, realistically, you have about five hours to kill before you have dinner. Now, in theory, it could be a long rest, I guess. Maybe they have a later dinner, just because they have business things to attend to. And the rich people, rich people always have later dinners. And the rich like. So you have time for a long rest, if you would like it. I want to go chat with the I chef. I want to rest it up. Okay. Let me go uh, talk that chef up. Who is doing the long rest? We need our fill. beauty rest. And ben? maybe we'll wake up to a beautiful dress. Ooh, on our after breakfast. lunch, I want to sit back in my chair and hit my bubble Wish pipe. Wish one hand shit. Just, 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 <laughs> just, like right. yeah, yeah, just sit, sit back in the chair and yeah. hit the bubble pipe. Yeah. Um, Althea does seem to be very interested <coughs> in the pin. Uh, <laughs> Who doesn't <laughs> understand that at all? No. <laughs> he's completely The bird man gets no yeah. luck. That actually might be a like he's not of frustration. At all, it's yeah. just it's just another person. I, I think to he's too derpy to be attracted yeah. to people. The, the only thing that would he's attracted to is someone that could like beat him beat in the hand. Yeah, yeah. That's a girl. Like <laughs> she is, she's very flirty with you, and, and I'm just you like, do not get it. Yeah, I just don't. and it is uh, so hilarious. Pain. <laughs> it's it's frustrating at first, but then you realize, oh. Right. That's not. Nothing's gonna go. <laughs> it's it's actually, I'm cheap. probably just laughing. Yeah. Like at this point, because because I'm I've been so used to uh, Althea's antics throughout the years that to watch her like try to uh, pull, pull some of her stuff and it just completely yeah. going over his head, I'll and probably she, think it's hilarious. Like, like she that's tries such, such nice arms you have there. Yeah. Like, yeah, they're great for picking things up and <laughs> punching. <laughs> yeah. I punch stuff. Breaking stuff. <laughs> Um, they are interested in, of course, the other sort of non-humans of you, uh, just sort of asking you general questions about yourself and what you can do and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm not saying that you necessarily have to like divulge your life history to them or anything. You know? I want to make myself sound way better. <laughs> way more interesting because they have so many dresses here and I really want to be given one before I leave okay. and that's like what I'm trying to get out here I, like, yeah. I have you, so you, many things you, here listen so many things I totally don't want one of your things but yeah I don't uh, want one of your things but if you you know feel bad for me or <laughs> think I'm cool you do have to bring out a uh, how do you don't try to build yourself a sort of just like a love seat sort of like larger chair for Harriet uh, just because Harriet's a great big Sasquatch lady. <laughs> That's so nice of them. They're really good people. Yeah. You got a good family, Kay. Hector. Yeah. good place, Hector. 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 Uh, <laughs> you look at uh, the mother, and you look back at the room where all the dresses were, you look at the mother again, you're like, great family! Yeah. <laughs> good job. <laughs> you have great dresses. Oh, you have sorry, great dresses. Great family. Great family. <laughs> Quetzal. <gasps> so many things. Um, after the dinner, right, uh, you go to... Yeah, we we'll go compliment the chef. Kind of wander off oh, here to the go. kitchen area. Uh, by the way, it's right? Yeah. Number one is... Bigger than any house you've lived in? Bigger than any house you've ever lived in. Yeah. 
for one. Uh, and number two has like so much interesting kitchen stuff that you've never seen before. There's a Gadgets. magically powered stove. Yeah. A what powered uh, stove? Magic. A microwave. Oh. <laughs> a microwave. <laughs> oh, a microwave. Uh, oh, I, I really <laughs> hope it's that. <laughs> you see. Hot pockets can be made in yeah. two minutes now. <laughs> you see like a wall that has one of those. maybe like a dink. ten foot section of that like magnetic strip that has a bunch of different kinds of knives on it. Um, yeah, they're all, they're all that just, you like, never see in anyone's actual house. Yeah. You, and you know what they're all for. You've just never <laughs> seen every seen single every one, of them one of them next in to one each other. place. Uh, the sort of head chef is indeed a half work uh, sort of. Uh, he's not as burly as you would have assumed he would be. <clears throat> he's a little. Uh, a little skinnier? Or wimpy or he's a little skinnier. <laughs> wimpy, he's wimpy, wimpy. He almost seems lanky. It's weird. But he has very dexterous fingers. Uh, and you can see him like chopping something very finely. Like he's on meth. Um, okay. Because he's on meth. <laughs> <laughs> this is what he does. Meth and cooks. Yeah. He doesn't like turn around or anything. Uh, he's, and he's, he kind of like hears you come in. I, I would assume you're not like stealthing him. No, I'm gonna walk in. Flat, I'm gonna sneak in behind and like slit his throat. Like, this is my job now. Yeah, he finishes what he was chopping, like a carrot or something, and then he he sort of sets the knife down and he turns around, sees your guard. Guard. Yep. Uh, you're not in your says, oh. Sherlock outfit anymore. <laughs> well, no, it's the fact of the chef. Oh, okay. chef outfit. <laughs> Is that a chef? So you take the, what brings you so the Charlotte hat off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's one of the compliments you on your, your fine cooking. It was delicious lunch. Well, thank you. Yes, I always like to uh, I always appreciate a, a fine chef. So, thank you. Yes. Oh, you've heard of me. Well, oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you <laughs> I like know. I do the, the back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh. You <laughs> Oh, I did, yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. I saw that. It was a good time. Thank I you. On television. <laughs> on TV. <laughs> on he puts out a big on screen. On the screen. On Magic TV. <laughs> I saw that on, on We Witch. have a rock here. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I saw that on Witch.tv. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I like that. Well, thank you. It'd be a pleasure to cook with you at some point in the future. Of course. For your friends. In fact... In a couple of hours, I will be going to the Crockett Corporation building to begin the prep for the dinner. Do you wish to Yes, I'd love to accompany you. It'd be great. A uh, couple hours, maybe three or four hours from now. Sure, sounds, sounds good. Or half five, or half five. Yeah. Go. Okay. Really so loud. resting. <laughs> That's um, awesome. After the lunch, you have about eight hours to kill. Then... Yeah. You gonna do anything? I, I mean, I, I don't think there is a, there is a military wing. Well, I'll saunter so that way. You could. <laughs> Someone mentions, hey, there's a, or yeah. maybe the I. I think you see a. The only guy. thing I gather yeah. from a conversation just with falls the like sister a really is there's a military wing <laughs> here. Yeah. I <laughs> should go talk to them. So you go fit in here. <laughs> there, uh, and you see. So lakes. Orion, when 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 Orion. Because he goes back to train right after the lunch. Uh, and his troops are fairly well trained. Yeah. Um, they're not... They're not the brute type. They're not the brute type. No, but they're very adept uh, and skilled. In fact, uh, if you're willing to spar with them, of course he's always down for that. Always down for that. And so you, you have some... Complete reckless and danger yeah. of myself. Yeah, you, you just... Go to town beating up these people with like yeah, fake whatever guns means guns. they want to do, bare hands or with weapons. I'm always yeah. for it. Um, you would be unsurprised to see uh, Kane's younger sister maybe appear once or twice and watch you fight stuff wistfully. <laughs> uh, it doesn't obviously. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't understand. That is there. not in any way. Like maybe she's getting, she taking notes on my 
<laughs> technique or form. Yeah. Um, eight hours to kill. Uh, you're in long rest mode. Krishna, what would you like to do? Uh, I'm, just, you know, I'm just fucking hanging around. You want to go with Finn? Yeah, yeah I'm going to join the beatings. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, most of these guys are like, you know, level one and two kind of stuff. Murder. So, like, you can you can definitely show them <laughs> some things about, about the dead. About combat. Um, Murdering them. You trounce the quite a few of them. They like they attack you in groups to sort of try and learn like group tactics. Um, nothing like devastating. Or no, but like it's not meant to kill. Obviously, it's practice. Uh, it's, it's regular practice. Clank. <laughs> Release my first um, That no book we found. I want to just take time to study it. Uh, maybe look for things to, like, <coughs> roll with me on this one. I want to be able to potentially pop my hand off and do, like, the Adam's Family thing. Neat. Yeah. Okay. Thing. I want to try for running. I want to see a white mage hand, but a little different. Yes. Because it's actually your hand. It's actually my hand. But, uh, okay. So you can um, trauma it like a... That's a rip hog controller. Yeah. Like, maybe control well, this hand and control this hand mimics that action. Yeah, like, this like, hand is the controller. Additionally, I'm going to read that book to see what I can learn about. Okay. Um, like a um, give me, with advantage, cord give free. me. Wireless. Cordless. That's oh, the thing gosh. now. It's wireless. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> give me percentile roll. All right. I'll give you advantage. So, Ooh. Ooh. Your hand just falls straight off. So, we will. And it starts doing it by itself. <laughs> yeah. If you can think it, it will happen. Mm, idle hands. That's, That's what it makes me think of. That's what I immediately thought of. Right over your head. Psh, psh. All right. <laughs> Forty-six. Forty-six is the higher. Higher. Oh, Twenty-two is the other one. Okay. Um, Triple advantage. Now this is a book. Oh, also, I'm gonna talk to the mother. Yeah. Sandra. 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 Yeah. And Cassie. We go way back. Wait, right. she doesn't know that we have this book. <laughs> she was a mean girl in high school. She doesn't know you have this book. Then I will not talk to her yet. <laughs> I will read this book inside well, the library. Yeah, I mean, I would assume that you don't take it out of the room. No, 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 it. not yet. I'm going to keep on learning from it as much as possible. Do you happen to have a book that yeah. maybe written in Gnomish that might talk about... That looks like this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is. I'm going to just learn about myself. Or no technology. Normal. Uh, we have another half hour or so. Okay. Yeah. While you're reading this, you um, something happens to you. It's almost like you power down, in a way. Um, but suddenly, while you're reading this book. You are somewhere else. Oh. Specifically, or more specifically, you seem to be someone else. Um, and it's almost like it's in, it's, it's like it, it's in third person, right? You see this um, kind of older man. He's maybe, looks like he's <coughs> 70 or so, but very spry. Not Uncle Mateo. Different old man. Okay. Um, What's he? Are you sure her family's not uh, Mexican or Latin American? A uh, Hector Mateo. White Hector. Actually, probably more extended down to a point. <coughs> oh, um, Hector's a Greek. Um, he is wearing <laughs> a phone with a K. Mm. H E K. Mm. He's Damn wearing well. a weird amalgamation that looks like it's literally like different, different kinds like Greek, of armor. Like fantasy, like huh. like so like like in the, um, there's cloth and there's metal and there's fur and stuff like, like that. It's very Diverse and yeah. hodgepodge, hodge. mismatch. Um, and just you like can see him walking so through mm -hmm. this building, and the building is on fire. Is there seems there to be on fire. Symbols on the building? No, um, but you can see like the structural integrity of the building is failing around him, and you can see like cool. a column falls and misses him by like. Yeah. Does he react? No, he's, he's just walking. He's just Quetzal's walking calmly through this. Right? 
um, a, a cross beam falls right in front of him. Like, he stops before it falls. Like, he knows it's about to happen. And it falls, and then he steps over it and continues walking. How tall is he? Um, he is, like, uh, from what you can tell, he looks to be about 5'10"-ish. Um, you see a, uh, a chair tumble from, from like an upper level. And before it hits him, another crossbeam narrowly knocks it out of the way. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> a locomancer? Maybe? Yeah. Like, <laughs> uh, maybe? You see him the sort of view shifts and you see him approaching a window and he like he reaches this window uh, pulls it open again fires around him so it's like crazy like like falling um, and he sort of he just like steps he pulls himself out of the window and he's about Lethal height. And the the, the 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 platform that he's on outside of the window <laughs> falls, <laughs> breaks off, and begins to fall. And then you can see the building behind him sort of crumbling as well, and it sort of creates this slide. For the platform he's on, so he like surfs down, and so and, and he's just standing calmly. It slides down, and he you know, like it sort of said like dust all around him, and he just sort of steps off of the little platform and keeps walking. Does he acknowledge me at all? Down the road, um, he does not, but he reaches into his right right hand pocket and pulls out. What looks to be uh, for uh, lack of a better thing, I guess it sort of looks like this. Oh, please just let it be that. And <laughs> um, it it glows very brightly. As a natural twenty. With a uh, with a sort of bluish light. your soul. Do I... Uh, can I call out to him? You can try. Uh, I was going to say, Hey! Listen! <laughs> uh, there is no, no acknowledgement. So then I'm just going to watch him. Uh, he looks at this thing with reverence. And awe. Um, and, and he says, I have it. It's mine. It's mine. Did he say my precious? No. <laughs> <laughs> my very own precious. Okay. You see that it came to me. The world shifts around. <coughs> And, and it's he's somewhere else. Ah, he stole it. It doesn't seem like he was magically teleported. It just seems like a different, you know, if you, okay. a different chunk of time. Um, um, while he's powered down, I want to find him and destroy a dick across his forehead. <laughs> Interestingly <laughs> enough, um, you. <laughs> How long am I down? Is this like a second? Like, do, do I wake up? And he's like... <laughs> <laughs> I was just so, off. <laughs> you are with the... Oh, yeah, you're with the chef. The, the I got a couple hours before you did it. Chef guy. I think it's funny. You have some time uh, I'll take my to kill. <laughs> if you do go in there to try to find Clank, you, you do find him to be... There is 
He seems to be powered down, but when normally his eyes are dark, his eyes are glowing a very vibrant blue. Mm. Oh, shit. And Bye. Bye. Hey guys, something's wrong with this robot. Uh, <laughs> it's broken. Is there one He's broke. Blank? Throw him in the trash. <laughs> see the same individual uh, come upon a group of bandits who try to rob him. And it doesn't go well for them. So I'm guessing the transition between this is like, you know, he says, I got it. Dreamy haze. Dreamy haze. Dreamy haze. Yeah. yeah. Okay. He seems to stay clear clear and focused. I like the roll around him shifts. Um, his clothing doesn't change or anything. Um, you see him moving through this group of bandits that are trying to kill him. Um, <clears throat> you see him um, just like step forward and one of them like stabs one of the other bandits. It was um, just about to stab him in the back. Yeah. You see um, you see him pick up weapons that you instinctively know he's never even touched before and use them flawlessly. Uh <clears throat> It's it's a sight to behold, for sure. Um, I'm saying, wow, that boy is lucky. <laughs> most of them actually end up killing each other because of the way. <laughs> through that, coincidence. Of the way, yeah, <laughs> Somehow. Like, through through coincidence. Um, you see one like shoot a crossbow bolt that narrowly misses him and hits like a rope that's holding a barrel on their wagon and falls and crushes another bandit. That kind of crazy stuff that's like, what are the odds of that happening, right? Astronomical. Um, like some Final Destination type. Yeah, things. that's what I'm imagining right yeah. now. It's very, it's crazy, really. Um, <coughs> you see him, the, the sort of final vision, you see him in a familiar place. You see him wandering into the city of Gamrock. You see him approaching an old an old man like him. Is he wearing the same armor? No. Um you recognize the other old man as the one who creates you. Oh. You see Evander Jadar. Um, much older now than his uh, than when he was an adventurer. Yeah. Um, you see the makings of an artifice. Oh. You see parts that are very familiar to you. Because it's you. I'm like, yo, make it bigger! <laughs> <laughs> you see that you hear them talking to one another in a way um, you pick up bits of dialogue like I can't, I don't seem to have an appropriate power source. I can't get it to work. I don't know why. They, they discuss what can be done. The old man, and at this point you can tell that, that the old man that has the the, the, the die thing um, is older than he was when you first saw the vision. And he says to Evander, I have I have an idea. Have something that might do it, but I'm going to need something then from you first. Get that ball? Oops, don't worry about it. Yeah. Uh, and this is like Evander's crowning construction achievement, mm. uh, and so Evander agrees, yeah. and he says. When I give you this 
my luck will run out. And I need, you know, I need you to. I, I've lived a great life. I've been exceedingly lucky. I've won many fortunes. But it's time. It's time to move on. So, Evander, probably for the first time in like 20 years, pulls out one of his his old guns. He pulls out his antimatter rifle. His antimatter rifle. Yeah. Uh, and the the old man reveals the the the, the purpose of this, which called the die. Uh, I really do think it's like a D twenty. Yeah. Like and, it's, and, and puts it just a golden D twenty. He puts it into Defender's hand. And he's crawling on me. Uh, let me think. Can I do? Can I do a reaction to see if I just punch forward real quick? Sure. Okay. Because I'm guessing I'm sitting, and he's standing above me. You're gonna catch these wings. So he's like drawing on me. Roll, roll, and a tackle with advantage because he's not expecting. Throw those hands. You won't catch these wings. You're gonna catch these wings. Now I'm guessing. Now catch me. I'm sitting down. Yeah. He's standing up. <laughs> and I'm punching straight. You're thinking targets. You gonna catch these wings? Uh, Nineteen. Dad, can can you make it under there? What's your strength plus your proficiency? Yeah, uh, that hits. I went nineteen. That's right in the balls. <laughs> What did you roll? 19. Which is okay. Crazy. 19 will hit. Okay. Uh, so you and like the light kind of begins to fade, and then you sort of instinctively punch out. And where you hit it? <laughs> right in the mom and daddy. Right in mom and daddy's. <laughs> um, I don't know if bird. <laughs> they have a cloaca. Yeah. Uh, technically. Um, it's, some some it's, do. Uh, um, okay. It's Talks not a pleasant feeling, but it's not <laughs> like you getting kicked in the balls. Yeah. Uh, by any stretch of the imagination. I'm gonna peck you. I see you still react to all I feel like I've messed up. I messed up the very end. Like you were doing this, and like you're doing it at the top, you're going down, and then I just hit you. And then it's like, I just have a marker on the right side of my face right now. Well, that was an experience. Yeah. Uh, there now you have no idea what this guy's name is. Yeah, that was not revealed. But um, I do know you remembered your origin. You don't yeah. know what that thing was. You don't know how he got it or any. And you don't even know where it is in you. Just that yeah. you had it, and that. Is apparently something that is, if not the primary, is in some way powering. Oh, the all spark. Hmm. <laughs> uh, which is, yeah, pretty crazy. So I don't even know what actually happened other than that. Like I wanna, I wanna ask, I wanna ask him what happened. Like I'm like, where was well, I here? You fell into a phallic shaped marker. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> no, I was trying to wipe it off and then you punched me. <laughs> I say, you're a good friend. <laughs> did, I'll ask him if you noticed anything on me, like other than dick on red. No, you're good. No. Did you're I right, look like anything? Your eyes were blue. Oh. And then, like, in that moment, I just have flashbacks between the, the D20 die. Yeah. And then I think about that. that. Yep, that's where I'm For the saving. rest of time. Okay, so some time, uh, some time passes. Is there anything you want to do, King? Um, Hector. I mean, Hector. I'm probably Hector. going to be spending more time, like speaking with your father, speaking like with my father and my mother, trying to learn more about what's going on. Um, he, his, he has difficulty speaking. Um, he is cold. To the touch. He's very shivery. 
Um, this would be a good time to introduce Corvus. Corvus? Um, while you are with Elon and uh, sort of looking after him, a little three and a half foot tall bird. Yeah, like they're like ravens, man. right? They're kind of like raven-ish. Um, in full plate. Steps in, he's <laughs> wearing full plate. He has it's like a um, shield that sh looks like it's kind of steampunk-ish. I, I was imagining like it, it would look like it was made of multiple pieces of metal. Okay. But they're so finely fit together, it looks like a single piece of metal. Oh, gotcha. But gotcha. of like gold and silvers okay. with a symbol of Avon. The symbol of Avon upon it. Um, and you have and a, spear. a spear. Yes. Nice. <clears throat> okay. Piercy. Um, he walks in. It is very obvious that this is a cleric of some kind, mm -hmm. um, given the gigantic holy symbol on his shield. And then another um, one on my chest. And yeah, it's just like everywhere. Um, he sort of moves up to inspect Imam. And it's like click 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 along, click 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 uh, you, you've heard of him, so, I think. So you're the king. Hector. 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 Actually, that, actually so that's Hector. pretty correct. That is. You're, <laughs> like that is correct. Exactly what you said is the correct. The yeah. son. <laughs> so, essentially, the name is kind of like a mantle that's like passed down through the family. So this is how we're all going to say then. So you're the king, son. Mm -hmm. Hector. Mm -hmm. Indeed, and you are? I'm Corvus. Corvus Sacramentum. At your service today. So, uh, judging by your appearance, I take it you are one of one of the clerics tending to my father. Yes, I'm very studied in the ways of healing and medicines. Mm. Uh, by the way, everything that you've tried has done nothing. nothing. Yeah. Nothing at all. Yeah. I can't cast greater restoration yet, but. Uh, Looks like Quetzal's gonna come in and save the day. I'm probably gonna ascertain <laughs> details that it's not gonna be effective. Just As usual, mm. it'll be um, lost without Quetzal. <laughs> I don't know. You have access to like a lesser restoration. I have lesser restoration. Not greater yet. Not greater okay. yet because of level. Yeah. You go. Um. <clears throat> is is there anyone else like there besides the three of us? I mean, me, him, and. My father, Cassandra, yeah, is always there okay. when she's not. Um, I'd like to ask her, so, Mother, is this is this similar to anything of the illness that that I was stricken with as a child? If you remember that from my, I do remember that. Benjamin Button disease. Hmm? Benjamin Hold Button disease. Uh, no, no, a different one. No. <laughs> Did Hector have Benjamin Button disease? Not that one. <laughs> he um, at this point, let's go ahead and take our break to Ooh. just game. Just game. Oh. Yeah, okay. When we just Privately real quick before we, we do our break. Um, <clears throat> this is how this is gonna go. There's gonna be a sort of actual meeting well, no, part I, I of the dinner that happens, happens first, first that you are all not invited to, except for Kane. Um, I've been there. This is, you know, family business. Um, that'll take about... <coughs> That's ridiculous. Maybe 30 minutes in game time. Right? Not real time, but game time. And then, at that point, everyone else can be... Yeah. Are we sleeping still? <coughs> During this time, I'm helping the chef prepare... Are we going to rest? Is it food? Uh, yes, long rest takes eight hours. Okay. okay. Yes. So. We will be back. Later. I'm cooking because I don't need that long.